Um, if I was healthy enough to play and the trainers and coaches felt like I looked good enough to play, I was going to start and play. Um, if they believed that I was not, which they believed I was not, I was not going to dress and suit up for the game. Um, so whoever reported that, I don't know where it started. Um, it's kind of crazy what people will write and put out there um, to try to you know, prove their point or help their standpoint or their careers and, and what you guys do. Um, but you know, disappointing to see that uh, without any proof or basis of it. So this week I'm out the two. They feel good four weeks out of the surgery. Uh, for me to dress and be the two, so I will be the two and do what I have to do to be ready to go for Baltimore. We have a great, great friendship, truly. It's been two years with, with, with Mitch and Mason, and it's been nothing but awesome coming in here every single day, um, you know, sharing laughs, sharing memories. So um, when I come to the sideline, when I would come to the sideline, we would talk, and now he comes to the sidelines, we talk. Um, you know, I, I don't over overdo it, overstep. You want to give him information. You don't want to give him too much where he's thinking. Um, you know, he bounces ideas off me, and I bounce him back, and it's a good relationship. Listen, like I just said, it was one man's misfortune is another opportunity you know he he came in he's playing well and, and that's what they're, they're gonna roll with him so um we'll see how it plays out i gotta be ready to go in case you know we have to you know whatever it takes to get to the playoffs that's really it's all hands on deck so um i'll be ready to go if need be i really like that response by kenny pickett you know he doesn't waste time he gets straight to the point and he tells everyone like it is to shut those rumors down and that's all they were they were rumors i never saw anything that indicated that any of that could even possibly be true. That's why I didn't report on it. I didn't put anything out there because it just sounded like a rumor. It sounded like something that just made its way around. I couldn't possibly seeing somebody at the level that Kenny Pickett is at and the way he carries himself, which we have seen since the beginning of this season. And even back when he was at Pitt, he is a professional. And he wouldn't do something like that. I don't believe he would. So good job, Kenny Pickett. That was a perfect response. And it wasn't even a response. He started off talking about that because he wanted to clear the air. And that was excellent. And you know what? He's a leader. And he's really demonstrating that. I wouldn't count Kenny Pickett out. Mason Rudolph is doing incredible work right now. And... Mason Rudolph may be the best quarterback on the Pittsburgh Steelers roster right now, but he has years of experience beyond Kenny Pickett. We don't know what the ceiling is that Kenny Pickett can reach and how long it would take him to get there. So believe me, we're going to see a lot more of Kenny Pickett, I'm sure, going into the next season. There's going to be a quarterback competition. And you know what? We hope Mason Rudolph is part of that. Mason Rudolph doesn't know where he's going to be next season because, well, he's going to be a free agent after this season. The Steelers could sign him or he can get a really good offer from another team. But he did say yesterday that he likes playing for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And Mason Rudolph has done things, like I said many times, that we have not seen since Ben Roethlisberger was at the helm of this Pittsburgh Steelers offense. But yes, I was very happy to see Kenny Pickett address that right away to shut down any rumors. So that was really nice to see. And I'm telling you, these guys are very close. I've seen them. I've seen them practicing. And these guys are smiling. You see them laughing. They are a close group. And I said that yesterday. And I'm saying it again. So that's not part of it, though. <laughs> but all of this stuff, you know, it's all part of it's sports. And one thing that makes sports fun is the entertainment aspect of it, the drama. It makes it interesting. You have personalities and you have a lot of different characters. They're games. They're real games, competitive games. We have no idea who's going to win. Whoever wins is the one that works the hardest and is prepared the most. But there is that other side of things where you have just different individuals. And they're interesting to everybody. And that's one of the reasons we all enjoy these games, because we know the personal stories. We know the drama, the struggles, and that makes it interesting. Otherwise, it wouldn't be as interesting. I mean, it would be fun to watch the games, but I don't believe there'd be as much passion for the games. Well, anyways, I just wanted to address that, that I like the way Kenny Pickett addressed that. And let us know in the comments below your opinion on this. And Kenny Pickett, Mason Rudolph going forward, what do you think is going to happen? Kenny Pickett is backing up Mason Rudolph. That's good to see. We have two very capable quarterbacks at the helm of the Pittsburgh Steelers offense. And that's exciting. 
Well, thanks for watching. Remember, leave us a comment, let us know your thoughts. And if you haven't already, many of our viewers haven't subscribed. So please subscribe and hit that bell. Thanks for watching.